Hello. Speaking of parties, yes. on Saturday, I'm having a coffee with Carl oh, oh. and Mary Trump. Oh. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh. Awesome. You can go to maryandcarl.com for more information. Maryandcarl.com. Carl with a K, yes. right? That's right. Yes. Okay. Oh, I almost I scared myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All um, these years. Uh, yep. I'm telling you, I where do we start? Ben Rhodes, uh, Carl said, trying to imagine the GOP reaction if 18 blue states start to invalidate the will of the people in red states based on an insane conspiracy theory. Polarization is asymmetrical in this country because only one side plays by recognizable rules. How you're it's not you're, just you're insane. You're a it's campaign. Not just an insane you're a campaign strategist. Theory. Seriously, how do we? address this as the democratic party carl when we there is only one party now that apparently believes in democracy somebody else is crazy i don't know the answer to that i think we well, keep doing what we're doing because we're winning um there you was, know, there's I, a I, joke about my dating life in there but go ahead uh-huh <laughs> no you can't fix crazy is your point uh-huh yeah you can't fix it um it has to fix itself uh, and you one thing you certainly can't do is is play into it and acquiesce to it yeah. this is not um you know some crazy conspiracy theory it's a dumb conspiracy theory yeah i mean it falls apart on its face yeah um i've read the briefings from from the texas attorney general who by the way is under investigation by the department of justice for bribery it's gonna be clearer that he's looking for a pardon he's being investigated by the fbi he's been under investigation hasn't he carl for like years Years. not just securities fraud but Whistleblower and retaliation. This is not some democratic plot either, by right. the way. This is attorneys within his own office who have gone to the authorities on him. Right. Right. Yeah. So I know. I know what you mean about you don't even have to be a lawyer. In the last of the four lawsuits filed by Trump's lawyer, Sidney Powell, bit the dust late yesterday in Wisconsin, where a federal judge noted that he he just wrote federal judges do not appoint the president in this country. Um, our, one wonders why the plaintiffs came to federal court and asked a federal judge to do so. Like, you don't even have to be a lawyer right, to read these rulings and go, the decision fell hours after a similar decision by a federal judge in Arizona who found Powell's claims of voter fraud entirely unsupported. He said, not only have the plaintiffs failed to provide the court with factual support for extraordinary claims, but they have wholly failed to establish they have standing for the court to consider them. Um, this was a sorry, female judge. Mm-hmm. She said allegations that find favor... Um, in the public sphere of gossip and innuendo cannot be a substitute for earnest pleadings and procedure in federal court. They most certainly cannot be the basis for upending America's 2020 general election. We're up to, what, 55 suits they've lost now. And now right. Trump's like, mm-hmm. oh, no, no, this is the big one. This is all the other ones weren't me. This is the big one in Texas. And it's, I, I, okay. I mean, this is, I, I feel like I'm just, I, I literally am taking new crazy pills every day. Because I'm like, oh, this has got to be over now. Well, right? you were talking about your health earlier, and I will say the only thing that's going to improve any of our health in the next couple of weeks yes. is our mental health when this man leaves office yes. Uh, yes. next month, mm-hmm. um, in one month and 10 days. Um, yeah. And uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You know, that notwithstanding, people are still continuing to play to him. It's not just the state's attorney general. Um, yeah. See, I did that right. I mean, uh, I I'm attorneys general. I'm torn um. as a comedian <laughs> at how ridiculous this is, and we do make fun of it and laugh at it, and then how completely infuriating this is that that you know I, we're just sitting back like watching this. I mean, I empty wheel who I love on Twitter said the press seems too distracted to notice that Trump is not just threatening but planning to burn the country to the ground to make sure Biden can't succeed. I mean, it's going on in the transition, right? There's. Trump sending is, loyalists into the transition meetings. I mean, it just there. It couldn't be clearer. Is, he's trying to sabotage is, Joe Biden right. this and is America. Very similar to what Mitch McConnell and company tried to do to Barack Obama in yeah. those early days when they said they didn't want anybody voting for anything he did, didn't want to give him any successes, didn't want to work yeah. with him in the slightest. That is their uh, standard operating procedure. And I, I think you know I'm thankful the Biden people are surrounded by many of the people from that administration because they know exactly how to get stuff done in these circumstances. But make no mistake, Republicans in Congress are still playing to the same Trumpian baloney that they have been for the last four years. Ron Johnson from Wisconsin is going to hold a hearing on this on these conspiracy theories. You know, the last hearings he held as chair of the Homeland Security Committee were on hydroxychloroquine. So you can see where the priorities of these these Republican senators are, the only solution we have to this, in, you know, insanity is to elect them out of office. Yeah, I, I mean, Carl, I hope so. I mean, I hope because I, you know, honestly, 
we didn't do as well down ticket as Biden did, but I'm hoping that this behavior now really wakes more people up to what this party is. I mean, I hope there is backlash because, frankly, there wasn't this time, right, in terms of down ticket in the House or in the Senate. I I mean, that's why I desperately hope there is backlash and we win these two Senate seats in Georgia, because this is nothing short of, of, of treason in my mind, right? Of, of sedition, whatever you want to call it, what they're doing. It's certainly un-American. Yeah. You know, Barack Obama wearing a tan suit was un-American. Putting his yeah. feet on the desk was un-American. This certainly has to rank somewhere above that. Yeah. Uh, miles into the, the Athena sphere above that. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it's going to continue to happen until there are consequences. The reason that Republican senators and Republican House members and other Republican politicians talk to reporters off the record about how crazy Trump is and how stupid all this is, and then they act entirely different, is because they believe there will be a political consequence if they don't act this way. We need to flip the script on them and give them a political consequence when they do act this yeah. way. Yeah. Um, yeah, Trump uh, pledged he will intervene in the lawsuit in Texas to advance his latest attempt to overturn the election. He said, uh, we will be intervening in all caps, so you should be frightened, Carl. <laughs> intervening I mean, in they're Texas. Intervene. They have a great track record. They should totally intervene. Plus many other states. A case. This is the big one. Our country needs a victory. Yeah, he. This is what he does. He makes that. This is the real Americans. Really, the ones in the middle of the of the uh, sedition are the one. I, I I feel like Carl again. It's like the the South is trying to rise again. They're like black people can't vote. Their votes don't count. I, I, I mean, it's extraordinary. That's exactly what it is. I mean, it's the same argument being held in a different in a different way. Um, they're using the same dog whistles, bullhorns, as it were, um, to communicate their message. They're spreading the baloney. I mean, half of this is really designed to continue to sow animosity so that they can say that Biden wasn't legitimate and that Trump can prop up whatever media entity that he's trying to create with, um, you know, these these fringe people even yeah. beyond Fox News. Yeah, I. All right. I'm sorry. I have to uh, drop you early because a much bigger name is coming up, Tiffany Cross. But only this week. <laughs> next That's week, totally fine. Next week we'll I, go back I w- to having. I will not ask you to put down the cross. Uh, hey, what did you do? Yes, there? but go to maryandcarl.com. Yeah, that That's that'll right. be. Yeah, that'll Mary be Trump, Carl Fresh Saturday. That yeah, will, that will be fascinating. Get it. Love yeah. you, Carl. See you next week. Uh-huh.